Hi Virgo, welcome to Told Us Love Tarot. If this is your first time here, I hope you like and subscribe if you're returning. Thanks so much for coming back. I usually don't do readings at this time of the day because it can be very trafficy outside. So if we run into some background noise, just bear with me. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, or if you have a bunch of Virgo on your chart. I hope you've been happy, healthy, and well. I hope you had a happy Halloween. Um, if it resonates, don't forget to like, leave a comment, subscribe, share it with a friend. If you're cross-watching, please let me know. These are sticking out, so we're gonna go right here. Virgo, <clears throat> by watching the um, other signs in your chart, sharing with a friend, getting someone else to join the Told us love gang, you're helping my little YouTube channel grow as I build towards a thousand subscribers. In the meantime, if you want to send your girl a gift or a donation, my Cash App and Venmo are in the description box, and I greatly appreciate those who have sent a little gift or thank you. Okay, I think that's it, Virgo. Um, pre message, I haven't really been doing pre messages, but I try to think about or have like tried to connect what's going on with me when I've decided what sign I'm going to do a reading for. And um, Virgo, you were in my head for a while for doing this reading today. And <clears throat> I just wanna say there could be a Virgo who is burning the midnight oil. And if you don't know what that means, it means like you're working overtime. It may seem like I got a heavy feeling of like someone who has work <clears throat> that they do at home or could do at home. It's like computer work and like you're, pa you're doing your work and then you pause to have dinner with the family or <clears throat> to make yourself dinner or to go to the gym, something, and then you have to go back to the computer and do more work. If it resonates, please let me know. You can't lie to me. Charlotte York Energy. That's from Sex and the City. I haven't seen that um, card in a while. Followed by Miranda Hobbs Energy. Wow, that is really weird. So someone could definitely be a Sex in the City fan or um, I'm connecting with the Virgo who has some really strong close bonds with their friends. Um, I'm getting like even the, the saying, I think Carrie says in the show that her soulmates are her friends. Why do I feel jealous when I shouldn't be? My family doesn't like us together. I also got a feeling of someone who was in a Charlotte York energy, meaning someone who was looking for love, who was looking for their knight in shining armor to live happily ever after with and um, began morphing or changing into a Miranda Hobbs energy, someone who was more focused on their career and um, God, I'm even getting a feeling Virgo here this could be who you're connected with. It could be you. It's like someone who was so focused on love and having a family like Charlotte was. And then she couldn't actually have her own family in the show. but Or couldn't get the marriage and the relationship that would lead to a family. Whereas Miranda was so focused on her um, career and getting ahead and making partnership and she's the one who ends up unexpectedly getting pregnant and ending up in a marriage and ending up in the happily kind of happily ever after in her own way but <clears throat> i'm getting a feeling of if there was someone who was focused on love it's when you start focusing on your career more that you end up finding love What's best for the child, children? And as I was looking at my family doesn't like us together, I feel like Virgo, you are dealing with someone who has children already or you're the person who already has children. And I feel like... Um, <clears throat>
someone is choosing to take like a uh, relationship and dating off um, out of like their main concerns really or what they were thinking about and focusing on you're so similar that's why this is happening and instead is focusing on their career and if it's like a single parent it's like they're choosing to keep their family and like personal life separate um like if they were seeing someone or having casual dates or flings they're keeping things very very separate I'm also feeling like this could be a same sex, some sort of relationship or courtship dealing with two women. One is a Charlotte York, someone who's um, very sophisticated, who's um, very traditional, waspy, um, uppity, almost even pretentious. And someone who's a Miranda, who's <laughs> like the like an androgynous female almost that's for somebody out there <clears throat> that is for somebody out there he she they the streets can have you i'm all set attracted to intelligence damn i wish i love was your lover i feel like someone has a lot has like ended something or like is trying to be like I'm seeing like I'm imagining clips from the show of Charlotte when she wanted to be with Trey but Trey only wanted her when it was like taboo or like very sexual driven and she finally gets to this point and she's like this isn't working I don't want this I don't want this I feel like um, if Trey in the show had gotten his shit together and started coming correct, they would have ended up together. And I feel like someone has played or is playing some sort of, I don't want to say game, but they're making a stand or have made a stand for what they want and what they believe in. And um, if someone comes around and is like, all right, like we'll do it your way or all right, we'll... I'll, I'll do what you want so we can be together. Like someone is open to that. I feel like there's, if there's a single parent here, there's someone who is very understanding and wise to the situation. They want what is best for your family. And that is not introducing children to a, a person who you're just casually seeing. Four of Swords just came out. Now, don't come for me if you don't agree with what I just said. Wow, a lot of cards just came out. <clears throat> King of Swords, a lot of Swords energy already. Already, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. More Swords, Ace of Swords. Who's doing a lot of thinking? A lot of thinking going on here. three of swords and <clears throat> temperance was in reverse but I feel like it wants to be in reverse it's look it upright it's looking at me upright that Sagittarius energy which is the season we're going to be coming up into within um within the week and then you have the eight of pentacles Wow, Ten of Swords, Two of Wands, the Hierophant, Taurus energy, Two of Cups, Reverse. Why do I feel like, Virgo, there's someone that you're not, or this could be someone you're connected with or someone around you. It's like you're not talking to who you want to talk to or communication is shut off. Here's my person who is busying themselves with work that I was talking about in the beginning that dawned on me while I was starting to um, mention like not talking to someone who you wished you were talking to. I feel like instead of 
this could be them instead of being able to talk they're like burying their nose in the books they're like getting down to work they are taking old projects off the shelf that they have wanted to complete or things they've wanted to accomplish and they're like i'm gonna do this now this could be you or them but i feel like there's a lot of intelligence going on here with all this air energy like I feel like with pa this, I was just gonna say with the patience card, with this patience card, with temperance right here too, I feel like someone is biding time or waiting. It's like knowing something is going to work its way out, knowing that you'll hear from someone again. Gosh, this goes back to like, Maybe you were playing a game or something, or maybe this is a some sort of competition of wills. But it's like, I feel like I'm looking at people who want to come out of um, opposition. I'm hearing calculated communication. Someone is saying very calculating things. This could be like some sort of like your ex or like you're having to have calculated communications with this person. <clears throat> I feel like looking at, I'm looking at two people. Again, it could be same sex. This could be a friendship. This could be... Uh, a relationship, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be like a, a sibling that you fell out with or a co-worker that you, I don't know, however it relates to you. This could be love relationship. I don't want to listen to this. Nope, nope, we're going back. Maybe you, that something to that effect was had in a conversation. I don't want to hear this. I don't want to talk about this. Um... But I feel like someone is biding their time working. While two people aren't talking. This connection is not over. This is, again, like, this could be very heavy friendship. Very, like, you're... You're my brother from another mother. You're my sister from another mister. Like, we are bonded. Wow, King of Swords again. So much air energy, Virgo. You could be dealing with a Gemini, a Libra, an Aquarius that you had a very big falling out from and you wished you didn't. I don't think this ending has made you feel good. Or it hasn't made them feel good. And they really wished communication was still coming. I feel like someone will eventually communicate. I think there's going to be some sort of light heart communication. If this is something with someone that you've been casually seeing, it's almost like it got too hot, too heavy, too real. And things had to cool off. And I feel like someone is going to try to come back reigniting a flame reignite this could be even if it's a fight someone is trying to come back and restart a fight the moon cancer energy i get this feeling of like literal physical distance between two people it doesn't have to be but i feel like i'm look that there's someone who's looking up at the sky and it's gonna sound cheesy as shit, but it's like someone else looking up at the same sky and you're thinking about each other or you've each looked up at the sky maybe together or you, you look up at the sky and you're thinking about things. Maybe someone finds like refuge looking up at the sky. That would be such a Virgo thing to do. Temperance Reverse just came out and it fell over near Miranda and Charlotte two of pentacles why do i feel like damn the star reverse followed by the two of wands reverse followed by the queen of swords reverse there is 
a serious connection here. I don't know who the hell you connected with, but there is someone who like, you know, this will come back around. You know, we will be reconnected again. This is giving me heavy, really good friendship, like a, like a Miranda, one of the women from Sex in the City or one of your broskies you've had forever. Like this, this could be a literal family member. I don't want it to just, I don't want to limit to um, a relationship because there is a friendship on the board here with two cards out of this whole effing deck that have four cards with the women's names on it. And those two women's names come on it. So there could be something that has to do with two women specifically around you, Virgo, that is at the center of everything. But I'm thinking it's also more of like um, there's something of a connection here. You could be swimming in def different directions, but it's like you're... This is such a weird freaking analogy. <laughs> I just saw like a, a sea, a fish, a shark, a whale, whatever, swimming this way and another one swimming this way. But you're swimming at the same, they're swimming at the same speed and they're both like, they're not moving. You're still aligned even though you're going in different directions because you're going at it at the same speed or there's still something here about a connection that I feel like someone has lied wanting to end it. Maybe there's a lot of pride here, but someone has like, is just waiting. The devil, ego is at the center of this. Stubborn ego stubborn ego there is a fight for dominance and what's funny is i feel like this fight for dominance is because someone really cares way more than they would want to care i feel like they feel em embarrassed and imbalanced almost embarrassed about how imbalanced they are by not having this connection anymore they are so freaking focused on work right now it's like someone has made a competition the world there is some sort of distance whether you're not physically actually talking to this person or you are at a distance I get this feeling of like <sighs> competing with someone who you're not actually with or talking to but you're hanging on to coming back together because you care there's care here at the bottom of it there was some ending of some sort yet someone has continued to hang on and wait knowing that there will be a reconnection there had been an imbalance of power an imbalance of feelings here Maybe one person wanted more than the other. I'm also getting a feeling of like possessiveness of like trying to be dominant or like dictate what can and cannot happen. And it's not like you, you're not in charge of me. You can't nine of wands reversed. I'm getting a feeling of like an obsessive need for control and with there, with there being some sort of ending, some, some strong boundaries I feel like were set here. Some strong boundaries were set here. Same two cards again. Some so strong boundaries were set here, but I think, like I know, there will, this is not something that's over. And I feel like you may know that, Virgo. You're just dealing with a strong. <sighs> Queen of Wands, Five of Wands reversed, Queen of Cups with the Empress. I'm like seeing a WWE match in my head. Like someone might be really into wrestling, but I feel like this is like a, a fight of egos, a fight of like 
who will be the one that's in top, on top and in control? Because I have two queens here who are literally fighting or have already fought. Virgo. Virgo, you got you got some queens fighting over you? Or are you a queen engaging in some fighting? Oh shit. Six of Cups reversed. It was just 2020 when I looked up at the clock at the um, video. And that's a completion, major completion. Two endings of people who have known each other or been connected for a long time. I feel like there's been good memories and bad memories and there's been a separation split between two people but continuing to look back this is where i'm saying there might be a this is the lie that's been saying someone has said like uh i'm i'm done with this i don't want to like i don't want to do this anymore nine of pentacles reverse death reverse why do i get i keep saying this i'm just gonna end up ending this i just looked at the tower again Ending something that you didn't want to end or didn't want to end or like needing to complete this cycle with someone yet you're still one or both still looking back and waiting for the other person. Someone could be going through some sort of glow up right now, but I feel like with the... Uh, Wow, someone is like stuck waiting for this return. Stuck waiting for when two people can get back together, wondering when it will happen. But there's also this feeling of like knowing it will happen. This is why I'm saying this could be someone, Wheel of Fortune reverse, King of Wands reverse, and the Queen of Pentacles reverse. This is why I'm saying like this was some sort of it could have been a divine separation of some sort. It doesn't have to be a masculine and a feminine. Like I said, it could be a friendship. This could be a relationship between, um, like a love relationship between people of the same sex. It could be a earth sign and a fire sign. This could be you right here, um, Virgo, with a fire sign, a Leo, Sag Aries doesn't have to be i'm just getting um i'm hearing like a fight of wills someone saying what they want someone saying lying about what they want i'm getting a feeling of someone lying about like wanting something casual that that's not who they really are There are so many cards here that speak to me of two people who are in separation but don't want to be in separation. And this is why I'm saying like it's either someone is manifesting this connection back if like it's preying on it maybe, manifesting it. I'm also getting a feeling of um, patience. Ten of Pentacles. I feel like someone is patiently waiting. Nine of Swords, King of Cups. Oops. King of Pentacles. Five, six, seven, seven of Pentacles. That another card of working, like making your work. Knight of Wands. The Emperor Reverse, the Fool Reverse, Six of Cups Reverse, the Hierophant Reverse. And these are similar cards that I saw in another deck. There is a strong connection. It could be even like this connection goes back to childhood like when you were younger or 
when you are with this person, it brings you back to this childish feeling of like maybe puppy love or like it's just really fun when you're together. Um... I'm feeling like someone may have said that they couldn't be the, like, fill the role that another person was looking for. Or I'm also getting a feeling of someone being, like, possessive and trying to control or dictate what another person does and, or where they go or what they do. Um... I feel like this could have been someone saying like I'm looking this is what I'm looking for and all you're giving me is the knight of wands and I'm looking for an emperor to have a beginning with the full reverse and like I I'm just realize I'm thinking too I'm looking at the three of wands and this four like looking at it I guess you can't ever, you can't look at it with them looking at each other. But together there are four of wands. Together this is a strong connection. Knight of Pentacles reversed, death reversed. I don't think someone wants to be. And here we go, the nine of cups. I feel like um, that's two, Vir could be dealing with another Virgo, but Nine and nine, that's two people who aren't speaking, hermit mode, waiting on one or the other to make things right to start it again. I feel like maybe one person has put in more effort to establish this connection and keep the connection going more than the other. I get someone being patient and waiting though and while they wait for something that they know will come back around something that they know will restart they are just working on either themselves or their money the queen of swords just came out and the king of swords is here the four of pentacles reverse and the nine of pentacles Again, followed by the strength. I'm getting followed by the Eight of Pentacles again. I'm getting two very strong-willed people who are just focusing on themselves, focusing on their coin, focusing on building themselves up. There is a... God, I keep wanting to say like a real stubborn energy here that needs to break. Really needs to break or bust. People are holding back that don't want to be holding back. They want to reconnect. But there's something here about uh, holding back. Because I've seen so many pairs here in this reading. So many pairs that are either in reverse or looking the other way or their their cards combine equal the connection and I there's so many cards here of patience temperance is here twice with this devil card and the fool I'm getting someone like obsessively waiting like knowing it's going to happen, but at the same time, this is where I'm like, this is some sort of fight for dominance or will. Like I will be patient and build up my coin while I sit and wait for you. And it all comes down to that you're both very similar. Virgo, if it resonates, please let me know. If it doesn't, that's all right. Just go check out the other signs in your chat. Um, I'll catch you on the flip. Bye.